Thank you, Colonel Price. It's a pleasure for Peggy and me to be in humble Charleston, South Carolina today with you. Uh, the greatest place on earth, of course, and where the humble Charlestonians say the Ashley and Cooper Rivers join together to form the Atlantic Ocean. This is a great place. I've got three minutes, so I'll try to make it count. It is a pleasure to see you. One of the greatest moments I had in recent years was at Corps Day a year or so ago to watch the cadets march in the dress whites. It was a thrill. And it occurred to me uh, once again of the importance of this institution. It was on December 20th, 1842, that the magazine and Citadel in Charleston and the Arsenal in Columbia became the military academies, became military academies, later become the South Carolina Military Academy. You may know that the governor's mansion today was the officer's residence at that Arsenal Academy. The rest of the school was burned on February 17, 1865, as you will remember. On March the 20th, 1843, the first 20 young men assembled at Marion Square to mark the very first Corps Day, which has been continued until now. Thus began the great story of one of the most historic and distinguished institutions in United States history. I revel in it. The influence of this place and its traditions of duty, honor, respect to country, and discipline have set us in this state apart from other states and have contributed mightily to the success, prosperity, strength, and happiness of our people. And so, it is with great pride that I, on behalf of almost five million grateful South Carolinians welcome General Glenn Walters and Mrs. Walters to the state of South Carolina and congratulate the Board of Visitors on their wisdom in offering the General this position and on the General and his good judgment in accepting it. <laughs> and always and eternally, my congratulations, thanks, and respects to the Corps. 